Cattle Lake is a special place. It's Texas' only large naturally formed lake. It's a mysterious place. It's a spot that almost everybody in Texas says, boy, I want to go there sometime. It's got a large array of wildlife and fisheries like the paddlefish. Paddlefish are a very unique species. They are on the threatened species list in Texas, and we haven't seen one in the Big Cypress River system for some time. Paddlefish are amazing creatures. They've been swimming in these waters since the days of the dinosaurs. They are uh, filter feeders, so they swim through the, the water with their mouth open, collecting plankton as their food. Their body's made of mostly of cartilage, just a little bit of bone, more shark-like than fish. During their spawning season, they need a high flow pulse that triggers them to move upstream to find their spawning grounds in the fast current uh, in the river. The Lake of the Pines Dam is about 20, 25 miles upstream of Cattle Lake. It changed the whole flow system from a, one that was very dynamic with large floods and dry periods to one that's more of a sluggish, low flow kind of condition. And that's the reason that we've lost a lot of the species that evolved with that higher flows and those changes. In about 2002, the Cadillac Institute started talking with the state about ways they might be able to restore the natural flow conditions in Big Cypress Bayou and to Cattle Lake. The average Corps of Engineer dam is more than a half century old and the guiding plans for operating those dams have not been updated since they were originally built. Today we have good science that can be used to modernize the operations of these dams to bring additional benefits such as improved water quality, better fish and wildlife habitat, and increased recreational opportunities. And we can do this without sacrificing flood protection and water supplies. The Corps of Engineers and the Northeast Texas Municipal Water District, the owner of a lot of the water in Lake of the Pines, agreed to a five-year experiment where they would provide the types of releases that the scientists recommended and the Cadillac Institutes, Nature Conservancy and others would do tests on the system to see if in fact the releases did what the scientists predicted. The paddlefish release is one of those experiments. So this project, they've actually implanted radio transmitters in about 47 paddlefish and they're going to release them and track them for a period of about six months. You see the incisions on the side down there where we sewed them up and where we have the wire tag coming out the backside over here. And that's where we're getting our, our signal off of. It went better than we could have hoped for. We had zero mortality for the surgeries. The fish transported great. We were able to reach 47 paddlefish into the area. Caddo Lake is a demonstration site for the Sustainable Rivers Project. And through this initiative, the Nature Conservancy is working with the Corps of Engineers at sites across the nation to measure and demonstrate the benefits of modernizing how we operate our dams. I think if we just came and, and put paddlefish back in the river with nothing else happening, uh, chances of their success would be low. But combining this with the releases from Lake of the Pines, I think it stands the best chance for paddlefish to be able to uh, continue to thrive in the big cypress.